Hello little friends. Let us do one more multiplication trick. For this you need to have the basic knowledge of squaring. That is if you remember all squares below 30 then uh, this trick will be very useful for you. So in any class for doing any multiplications you need to remember the square of numbers up to 30. So now I am taking the first type of numbers where the two numbers differ by 2. Say we have 11 into 30. Now whenever the numbers differ by 2, what you do is you just check what is the number which lies exactly between 11 and 30, it is 12. Just write the square of this number and subtract 1. So 144 minus 1 is 143 no traditional multiplication just the knowledge of basic square say we have one more example say 18 into 16 so here the intermediate number is 17 so 17 square minus 1 289 minus 1 288 is the answer say we have some more examples say 22 into 24 the intermediate number is 23 so 23 square minus 1 so 529 minus 1, so your answer is 528. Likewise, you can go on and on and find many more products like 99 into 101. Intermediate number is 100, so 100 square minus 1. This is 10,000 minus 1, 9,999. Isn't that amazing? If the numbers differ by 2, you just need to know the squares. Now, let us change this. Now the numbers differ by 4. Now whenever the numbers differ by 4, the method is slightly different. Let us have two numbers say 12 into 16. Now what you do? Again check the intermediate number. In between 12 and 16, you have the exact middle of the numbers as 14. Just square them. And now in place of 1, you subtract 4. So 196 minus 4 that is 192 is the product of 12 and 16. Likewise you have suppose uh, 22 into 26 differ by 4 so intermediate number is 24 minus 4. So 24 square you need to know the square of 24 it is 576 minus 4 572 is the product. Likewise if you take 48 and 52, intermediate number is 50, so 50 square minus 4, 2500 minus 4, 2496. Likewise, you can take the difference of numbers as 6, numbers differ by 6. When the numbers differ by 6, now instead of 1 and 4, just subtract 9. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, now 3 square is 9. So, if you have 11 into 17, just check the intermediate number. If you fail to find the intermediate number, how much is the difference? 6. What is the half of 6? 3. Just add 3 to this, 14. 14 square and just subtract 9. In this case, you have to subtract 9 when the digits differ by 6. Half of 6, 3, 3 square is 9. So, subtract 9. 14 square is 196, minus 9, 187 is the product. Likewise, you have 17 into 23, intermediate number is 20, so 20 square minus 9, 400 minus 9, 391 is the product. Say we have 47 into 53, intermediate number is 50, 50 square minus 9, 2500 minus 9, 2491 is the product. See, it makes us so resourceful that for every calculation we have a trick in mathematics and if you have the knowledge of these tricks then solving a numerical ability test or a clerical aptitude test is not a big deal. So keep learning, keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it.